Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juan Carlos Monsalve. Today is uh, December 29, 2023. The time of this recording is 8.02 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, today we're going to talk about um, uh, a few things about um, the information that is available in my website. Um, I just posted the strategies, the current strategies, it's called. And uh, I put it there, and we, we will go over that in a few minutes. But before um, I added a document, well, it was a document that I added with a video that I made the other day in regards to the definition of background, some of the history, and the rules of the game. This is a three page document, you can review that. I found that information in Wikipedia, so I uploaded it there. Um, and yesterday I added to one that it says keep in mind, uh, and I'm going to read it to you. This information is also in the description of every video that I have uploaded this there. I've been adding things, so I may repeat some things here and there because I've been adding and adding and adding um, without removing previous uh, notes that I made on those uh, to this information. So what it says here, it says, uh, uh, this is my website, juancarlosmonsalve.com. You say, I say here, I post videos playing background with real cards, keeping track in different scorecards for your use. You can follow along while I am playing, or you can use the data of every game for you to test your own strategies or create new ones. I am not a tech savvy nor a professional casino dealer, but my promise is that I will learn and I will get better in my recordings and play for you to have a better experience. My goal is to have this information free to all who want to use it. I play Baccarat, a casino table game with real cards, a real Baccarat table. I keep track of the, of, of the scorecards for people to use them to verify their own strategies and to verify the, if their current ones work, how often they work or don't work, and for how long. The scorecards uh, of real truth recorded. Excuse me. The only way to have a better understanding of those strategies is to compare them to real scorecards of real truth recorded. Um, Again, here I am not a professional casino dealer. No, I have been one. I follow the background rule score, but I cannot guarantee that I don't make mis any mistakes playing and recording the game, as any errors change the outcome of, of the outcome of the entire show. I am not promoting gambling. Uh, this channel is targeted to those players who want to study and analyze the game to prove their own strategies. Play responsibly and enjoy my channel as much as I do. You can support my work at buymeacoffee.com backslash slash Juan Carlos Monsalve. You can also click the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, make comments on my videos, share them in your personal social media platforms. I will keep adding more videos in YouTube and the scorecards are available in my, in my website, juancarlosmonsalve.com. For those um, uh, with every video for your use, I am not encouraging people to start gambling. This information is for those who already go to casinos to have fun or consider it as a side hustle. Uh, this information is provided for entertainment purposes only. I cannot guarantee that you will make money playing at the casino. If you decide to gamble, please do it at your own risk and never gamble what you cannot afford to lose and play responsibly. If you have a gambling pro problem, you can contact the National Helpline 1-800-GAMBLER or visit their, uh, their site at ncpgambling.org. Uh, you can follow me in social media sites uh, like facebook.com backslash one dot c that Monsalve or twitter.com backslash Juan Carlos 15525 and my website juancarlosmonsalve.com where you can find the scorecards as PDF files 
And don't forget, you can always buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com backslash Juan Carlos Monsalve or you can PayPal that me backslash Juan Carlos Monsalve12. And um, um, and also I ask for people to type their name of the city where they live, the state or province and country. Um, again, here I am not an expert gambler, a coach, nor a counsel, but of the things I have found out so far is, is that it's better to, and I list a few things that I recommend. Uh, the first one is to use a surprise factor when you go and play at the casino. A surprise factor uh, is something like you go low key. Yeah, simply, simply you go there, you buy your chips, you, you do your buy-in, you sit down like you're gonna play for a long time, but you only go and, uh, and follow the, the rest of the, uh, the recommendations. Uh, the second one is don't always use the same strategy. Strategies work if they are used for a short period of time. Um, and things like to play only player, or only banker, or second player, or second banker, or the chop chop, etc. is not much of a surprise factor, as the casino already know people uh, play those systems. I like the Martingale system, but casinos know this is a very popular bank bankroll management system, so no surprise factor there either. And this is what happened. You use the Martingale uh, system and you're gonna you uh, combine it with play only player or the martingale betting system and play only banker so don't be surprised at the time that you get to the table that as soon as you start playing either one of the two and then um, you start losing one after another ask me why i know that yes it has happened to me a few times so you can try a progressive betting system. So when you win a few hands in a row, you win more of what you have lost. That's why um, instead of the Martingale betting system, I recommend the Monsalve betting system, or I use the Monsalve betting system because you don't reset after the win. You want to make your money as fast as possible, a very uh, small amount of units. Uh, in my case, or the ones that we are trying or we are testing is five units per two per day per casino. Um, it says here, number six, win a few units per two per day and no more. Um, then it goes to page number two uh, here. Um, it says wait at least four days before playing at the, cas at the same casino. Uh, one of the problems that I have is that I only have one casino in my city, or it's about 45 minutes of, to where I live. But the second casino is not but two hours away, and the third casino is one and a half hour more. So uh, for me to visit all three casinos in one day, it takes me the whole day, and I have to drive about 800 miles and spend, and spend probably $100 in gas. But uh, but if you have a city where you where you have more options to play, you can play in different one or two casinos a day, and then go the following day different casinos. Or if you live in Vegas where there are many many more casinos, you can do that. Um, uh, here number eight: the longer you stay at the casino, the more chances you have to lose money. Um, that's why I recommend in and out. Hopefully within 15 to 20 minutes, you already make your money and then move to the next one. And then number nine, find the strategy that wins more hands. There are some out there. There is not much randomness in this physical universe. Many things are related to each other, so patterns exist. And we will go over my uh, the way that I came up to my strategies and and I have a confession to make. When uh, I found out about the strategy, I have a good win rate uh, with the first time that I did this type of uh, of strategies. 
um, I was uh, having an advantage of nine and a half percent with one uh, formula and ten and a half percent with the second one. That, that was advantage over the casino. When I start playing on and recording these videos and showing this to um, all of you, I noticed that the strategy sometimes or most sometimes it goes the opposite way. The same thing happened when you have a, a, a strategy and you go to a casino. That strategy, don't be surprised if that strategy turns uh, against you. And that's what I have noticed. But what I've been able to learn doing this is that if you are in that situation, you don't need to win all the hands. You don't need to win many, many more hands. You just need with the combination of the right... Uh, uh, money management system, you will be able to probably win only 40% of the hands. If you play 10 hands and you win only 40%, you, you have your money there. You, you will be able to make your money there in, in just uh, probably 40% of the, of the hands won. Um, so um, another one is I don't recommend playing online. My systems are not to be played online. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned that before. I don't. I, I don't do that. I don't recommend doing that. One time I tried to play online and two things happened. First, I lost like a couple hundred dollars, and my credit card was compromised. I have to request a new credit card because I start receiving charges from different uh, overseas uh, uh, websites. So I don't, I don't trust any, any, I don't know if they may be some online trust, uh, trusted websites where you can go, but I don't do it. I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it to apply any of the system or the systems or the, um, or the, the strategies that I have to play online, much less use uh, the Monsalveri system, nor the, um, uh, the martingale betting system because there is a risk uh, if I cannot see I cannot control what I see I don't know what they are showing me so please do not use this to play your mind uh, number 12 luck and fate are part of the game so uh, one of the things that I recommend is uh, be uh, be a good person and uh, and you know, have faith, and the, the good luck may come come back to you um, to be able to win. And uh, number thirteen, have fun and make money at the same time. It is possible. This is I, I have so much fun when I play this uh, this game. And something that I uh, say every time that I started a video is this: uh, this free information is for entertainment purposes only. If you decide to use any of my strategies, please be mindful that they may not work 100% of the times and that you may lose money. For all the scorecards, visit my website, juancarlosmonsalve.com. You can support my channel at paypal.me backslash juancarlosmonsalve12 or buymeacoffee.com backslash juancarlosmonsalve or cash app at dollar sign juancarlosmonsalve. And I ask for you to give it a like to the, to the video, to subscribe to the channel, to ring the bell, to share the video in, their, um, in your own or personal um, social media. Sit back and observe the way that we start with $25. And we are looking to win at least uh, five original units of $125. If the table, I added this. Uh, these two lines here is the table minimum is 50 50 dollar table minimum i will look uh, to earn at least four units that means that i go from five units to four units so in, instead of uh, 250 i go to make 200 and if, if i do that i still there are chances that i can make more than that but at least the minimum i reduce the number of units uh, if the table minimum is 100, I will look to earn at least three units. The three units as a minimum. 
three minute units, but it depends on the strategy that if I may go longer, but at least I will secure three units. Uh, we use the Monsalve and Martingale bedding systems. I give it a name, my last name, Monsalve, to the bedding system. This only applies to this game. I will not apply this to any other game or, or blackjack or any other game. I haven't, I studied the game uh, blackjack, but after I discovered uh, Baccarat, I think that we have more chances to win with uh, Baccarat than with uh, blackjack. So I don't recommend this system to be used in any other game. And if it's used in Baccarat, only for a short period of time, 15, 20 minutes, um, five units, four units or three units, depending on the minimum of the table. Uh, then uh, we don't reset after a win in the Mossad betting system. This is the, the only difference or the main difference with the Martingale betting system. With the Martingale betting system, after one win, you reset back to the original unit of 25, in this case, 50 or 100. Uh, I, in the Mossad betting system, you just keep the same betting amount. You just need to make your money and get out. Um, Number seven, we stop as follows. Yeah, we have two sit situations when we stop. After one loss, if we already reach our uh, five unit target, we stop there. Or after one loss, we are reaching the, the uh, five unit target plus one win when we reach the target. So one loss, we stop. Um, if we have the target, or one loss plus one win, and we reach the target, we leave right there. Um, and if we, con yeah, we continue, if we have one win without reaching the target, and the second win when we reach the target. Uh, what is it, the five unit target, plus one win when we reach the five unit target. So two wins in a row, and the second one is when we reach the target, we, we play the third, we, we try to get the third one or the fourth one, and probably that's gonna be uh, consecutive wins or a winning streak, so we don't wanna lose that. The bets are as follows, $25, $50, $100, $200, $400, $800, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000,
this uh, scorecard and uh, excuse, excuse me, not the scorecard, but the strategies. I will update it uh, on Sunday and I will update it probably once a month and I will keep playing the same strategy um, for one entire month. So I'm going to be using from here until Sunday or Monday, that is New Year's, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Uh, I will be playing this strategy, I will update it and then once a month. Uh, so you can print this information the way that I printed. I printed one here. Uh, this is uh, first page and on the back. So print it double sided if you want to use this one and you can practice. And then you, you remove the sides of the page. This is a leather size uh, page. You can remove the sides and then you can fold it. This is the way that uh, when I take it to the casino, I fold it this way. Uh, I start with player, one, followed by minus one, that is a banker. If it's a tie, remember, you need to mark that down as a tie and move to the next one. I fold it to show play, the player side, the banker side, and if it start with a, with a, um, with a tie, you can, you can fold it that way. So this is the way that I that I use it, I usually cut it in half, and you can just write down there. Um, you have access to the printer, you can print this uh, at home, and when we are playing, or when I'm playing here, you wanna follow along, you can also do that. You can use that to practice. It's a good thing, it's a good thing to practice. We call it to drill it. You drill until you become proficient uh, to be able to um, to see how the numbers work, when, how much you want to be betting, what did you lose, you want to have double or, or you're going to double that amount and see and practice, practice, practice. That's the best way. That's the best way to do it. This is available in my website again, juancarlosmonsambi.com. And then um, I have the PDF files for the scorecards. The last time that I played it was on the 27th. That was two nights ago. On the 27th, uh, here is uh, the date, the first card, the, the one that we born, seven of hearts. Uh, the first uh, was a player, eight. Banker was two. It was a player hand. Uh, the second one was four, six. Player four, banker six. That was a banker hand. This is my strategy, the one that I used uh, this day. Um, it's probably the same one that I have here. If you look at here where it says my play, it started with player, then three bankers, another player, and then another three bankers. And this is when it started with player, and I and I put on the side the other two strategies, the one that starts with banker and the one that it starts also with player, but this is the one that I use for uh, when the, when the shoe start with a tie. Um, I will I use this one here. Uh, somebody asked me why the number changed and then the reason why it changed is because every time that I play, I add that information to the database that I have where I have all the games. And, um, and basically something that I discovered and I discovered this uh, was back uh, three years ago back when uh, the pandemic started in 2020, uh, it didn't work for like three weeks. So I, I started uh, playing with numbers. I've been doing this for a few years, but then I found out that um, that when I use the strategy, that the numbers improve when I separated uh, those strategies, that is when it start with player and when it start with banker, and that's when the numbers improve uh greatly so i started doing that so i have three um three um scorecards i call these scorecards every scorecard is composed of seven seven pages because here you see page number two uh where it says all the way until uh, hand number 60 it's still the same three strategies with the two uh, Money management system, and then page number three is the end of the page. Here it tells how much money I needed 
for every strategy, uh, every strategy and money management. This is one here, the one between the green columns here. Those are one mm -hmm. strategy, second strategy, third, third strategy, and uh, in page number four, you will see the strategies. The one will start with player, the one will start with banker, and the combined strategy or for ties. And also the scorecard, the different scorecards, uh, that's the way that I started showing at the beginning, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, all the way to 11. So that's the way that we used to uh, keep track of our strategies back before they put it those uh, screens that we use now and I think that the reason why the, um, the casino try to show you there is because there are some other ways to see the game but they only show you what they think is the best way to, to see the game but there are some other ways to see the game and that's what I'm trying to, um, to make people see the game in different ways so this is the scorecards that are available. I have um, so three different that are already open as a PDF viewer in my uh, site. I rotate this every time that I play a new, a new shoe, I put it here. So this one is December 24th, the same thing. The next one is December, uh, December 17. And then all the scorecards are down here. Um, I have uh, since October 13, 2023, that was the first one that I uploaded. So you can download those uh, as a PDF file as well, and you can print those scorecards. I have a thing that I have like 45, I already have 45 scorecards there. My goal is to get to 200, at least 200. What is going to happen after I reach the 200 uh, games, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue playing. Uh, or what is going to happen. Uh, it's a long way to go before I get to 200 uh, shoes. Um, now what I'm going to show you how I update the information. I go to an spreadsheet. Um, the spreadsheet that I use. Uh, this is the spreadsheet that I use for to keep track of, uh, of the games, of the, of the shoes. Uh, my computer is a little bit slow. It's an old laptop that I use. I need to renew my equipment. Uh, but it's working, has been working fine for me. It's only a little, a little slow. Um, this, is, uh, uh, this is November. Um, yeah, this is November. Uh, and you know, open the other one, it takes a little bit longer to upload the, the other one. Let me upload it here. I'm going to open the other file. This one is, uh, uh, I separated each, each month, so I will be finishing December with this spreadsheet and I will start a new one for January and for 2024. As you can see, it's uh, uploading the, the file. Sometimes these files, they become big, 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 because I create a copy of every shoe that I have, if you look at on the bottom here, it says the date. Uh, those are the tabs for every, for every day that I play. Uh, this is December. Uh, so December, last uh, shoe that I played was December 27, is this one here. That's the one that I uh, printed as a PDF file and I was able to upload it in my, in my website. And and the way to update this, uh, I go to another spreadsheet that I use. Uh, basically, uh, this is the one. I have one tab that it says uh, all, 
all uh, and this is all all the uh, shoes that I have played. Okay, so I was telling you uh, here, uh, I have from October 8, 2023 until October 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Those are six shoes that I play uh, practicing recording before I started in October 13, where that was my first video that I posted. But I did some practice before I was able to go and record and be uh, be able to post the first video. It has been a learning course for, uh, since I started doing this. Basically, um, if you see here, uh, this is hand number one, hand number two, three. What I did, I put all these, uh, all these shoes together by date, uh, the shoe number here, date, and then I start collecting the data of the barn car, uh, of the barn car, like this one was eight of hearts, this one was the uh, queen of uh, uh, spades, queen of uh, diamonds, two of uh, spades, uh, so I started collecting this information, I had the information on this uh, spreadsheet. So I, the total of, hand, of uh, shoes that I have played, that, that is without including the last shoe of December 27. I have until December 24. Uh, basically what I did uh, recently, I start all over again and, and I start collecting information. I have it just to make sure that I had the correct information. And then I separated the players from the bankers. So I separate it with it says one in blue is because it's a player. One, one, one. This is because I put all the all the ones or all the players in one sheet. Uh, it came out to 28 until December 24. And here it gives me a total, like 28 players. The second one, the second uh, the second row or hand numbers or hand number two. It shows a tie. I'm gonna go ahead and um, enter here uh, and split, so we can uh, we can see the titles and we can see this column that is eight numbers. Uh, the numbers here. Uh, there are some situations where uh, where it shows. I can add more more uh, more columns here, uh, like uh, in row number one. This is hand number one. It shows that there have been more players than bankers. That's why I played player at the beginning because since I started playing here, this second time that I'm doing this, not recording, but uh, this uh, uh, playing these games at home is the second time. This is the second. Um, uh, group of uh, of shoes that I play, but I start started anew when I start recording these uh, these games. It shows twenty eight uh, uh, players, and uh, the, here when it says zero is because he has been even in in twenty eight games. It has been the same number of players and the same number of bankers. That's why it's zero because every one adds a number and every minus one is subtract a number. So when I when I do the zoom, when I zoom all these numbers, it shows zero. That means that it's an even. That's why it shows zero. Uh, the uh, hand number three, it shows that it's minus seven. The hand number four, it shows that it's minus two. Uh, and the reason why I play player on this one, uh, I can play player or banker. Uh, I'm testing which one is the best option. Um, and then I do a banker and another banker here. Why? Because it shows that this has been more bankers on, on hand number three and hand number four. It shows more players in hand number two. Uh, that, But it, it can vary. Uh, but I have been playing this uh, and I noticed that when I play this way, I have more chances to win. Um, again, when I start showing this information, 
the, the uh, is like going to the casino. It's, it's showing the information to stay too long at the casino. It is like the formula or the strategy. It gets known to the casino and and I don't know what uh, other things are happening at the casino, but that's what we are trying to build. Um, like here is a five, a five positive. That means that this is five more players than bankers. And this one is minus seven more bankers than players. Uh, three players, uh, three more players than bankers, seven more players than, than bankers, six more players than bankers. On this one, it says more bankers than players, 12. Here is another even, even column. So what I do, and this is the one that I'm missing. Um, I'm gonna open this up. Uh, this is when it start with player, and then I go to the sheet that is shows the bankers, and the bankers is how many bankers I have. Only 20 bankers. That's why I play banker. I, I play player because there have been more players uh, than bankers. In my previous games that I was playing uh, also at home, it was the contrary. It was more bankers at the beginning. It's like it's changing. So now uh, on this one, it says, uh, like in the hand number, on this one, I'm going to put in a split as well. I'm going to put in a split here so we can, so we can see. So hand number hand number one is uh, when it is a we play with banker. The first one is a banker. It's also a tie when it goes to the second row or the second hand. And then hand number three and four are bankers. Four and no five and six. It shows that there are more players than more players than banker. The same as hand number six. And then hand number seven, eight, nine, and ten. Those are more bankers. On this, on this one, the the difference is only is only minus one, minus one, very really close to zero. Um, that's why I need more shoes. I need to get at least two hundred. And this is what we are learning: is how the how the formula can get better, how the strategy can get better. The more the more shoes. Uh, that we play without any mistakes or without mistakes. Uh, what is the best strategy that we can come up? Meanwhile, we need to combine that with a good money management system to be able to make the, the money fast and live. Uh, so this is the information. And the last shoe that we played that was a banker is to, it was in December 17. So it is updated. It's December 17, then December December 24, then December 27, and then I will remove the split here, and I go to the to the other uh, sheet that I have here that it says tie, is because there have been some shoes that have started with ties, one, two, three, four, five, five shoes have started with ties, and and this one that's why here is zero. The second one is minus two. That means that on second hand, it has been more more bankers. And if we want to test this, it's like I have three bankers on the second row and one player. So we add this one, two, three, and then we subtract this one. That's why we have minus two. There has been one more, uh, two more bankers than players. The same uh, uh, row number three or hand number three. And number four, five, six, but it's really close to zero because we I don't have enough data. I need more data to be able to uh, be more confident that uh, this one is uh, three, three minus one. But that's the way that I created my strategies. And then on this tab where it says results, is because I bring the information. Uh, like for player, for the banker, how many hands uh, for each column, for player, for banker, tie, and here where it says both is the combined banker and player. I put it in only one. That's why it shows here player has been the more uh, the, the the one that I start every shoe with player. It may change in the future when banker gets me more bankers than players. 
So it is formulated here for player, banker, or combine, or both, player and banker. And then the scorecard that I put it in my website, this scorecard is this one. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to update from, from the previous um, scorecard. Uh, just to be able to show, this is the one of December 27. I haven't updated yet. So what I do, this is a, this is a formula between these two. So I bring this information from the 0 to 81. I do copy. I copy this information and I bring it to the other spreadsheet. To this spreadsheet, I know this is uh, uh, first. I put it here where it says play, uh, all because I wanted to keep them all together first. Uh, here I say copy and then I say paste special to bring me only the numbers, not the formula, but the numbers. And it brings me all the numbers. Um, here I put the date that is 12 27 2023. The, the first card, in this case, the first, uh, it was uh, seven of hearts. I can do a copy as well here, or I can type it. I bring it here. And this uh, seven of hearts. So it brings me the results of this, uh, of this uh, shoe and add it to uh, to the combined. This is the combined uh, spreadsheet, uh, but also because this is the one that I need on the other side. So I'm going to copy this. This is already the numbers. So I'm going to do copy here to bring the whole column and go to the results. And I come here to the results. So let me do just a column. That's good. Now this is player. I'm going to copy. I'm going to bring it here where it says player. And I bring it here. So now it's uh, here is seven of hearts. And today, December 27, 2023. And now instead of saying that I have 28, it shows that I have 29. And it recalculates all other numbers here. So I'm going to bring this one here, the new totals. And I say copy. And I come here to the results. And I bring it here to the save because I know that the one that I changed was the player. So paste special because I want the numbers, not the formulas. So it recalculates the entire, uh, the, the entire strategy. So this is the new strategy that I will be using. Not this, uh, not for the next uh, few games. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep using the same one that I used last, uh, the 27. I'm gonna be using that until I update the next uh, few shoes that I will play before or until Sunday, and I will be updating this again, and I will show you again how I did it. So this is the way that I uh, created my strategies. Uh, you are welcome to test them. Uh, print those, this strategy, print them at home, play at the same time when I'm playing and see how it works and pr practice. Uh, probably uh, this way you, you will be able to review your own strategies. Check, the, check my website. Um, you see the, the scorecards there. So you will be able to um, uh, you will be able to um, to review to.
to review those scorecards. Um, I answer questions. If you have a question, you can send me a question through, uh, through any of the videos. Um, I see those questions, so I'm able to answer the question. Um, if it's a common question, I may address that uh, question in one of the videos as well, in case that somebody else may have the same question. So this is, uh, I think that this is all for today. Um, I will I will be recording probably another shoot tomorrow. And, and that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to, uh, to give it a thumbs up or the like to the video. Subscribe to my channel, I need subscribers. Ring the bell for future notifications. Share this video with others in your uh, social media. Uh, watch those videos over and over again. Print the page so you can practice, practice, practice. Um, don't forget JuanCarlosMonsalve.com is my website. You can support my work. You can support my channel at paypal.me backslash slash JuanCarlosMonsalve12 or buymeacoffee.com, that's a website, my site, package slash Juan Carlos Monsalve, or cash app, uh, dollar sign, Juan Carlos Monsalve. You can also send me an email. I'm not very good at checking emails. If you send me an email and I don't respond, send me a note to one of the, uh, of the videos, and I go and check it, in case that I haven't responded. The, my email is JuanCarlosMonsalve12 at email.com. You can reach my YouTube channel at Juan Carlos Monsalve1652 or my Facebook group, Bacalar Research. And I think that that's all. Thank you for watching these videos. Um, I appreciate your, your contributions and your likes and subscriptions to my channel. I don't charge for any of these services. So this information is free for your entertainment and probably you can learn something from this so you can improve your, your game at the casino. Thank you, have a wonderful day, and God bless you, goodbye.